Now we want to tell you that a Roanoke County dance studio is finding innovative ways to stay connected with its students. That's because the governor's stay-at-home order makes normal class impossible. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows the creativity in these trying times. Hi girls, so glad you're here. Lynn Hungate has danced her entire life and while the plie hasn't changed, the way she's teaching dance sure has. We are used to a room full of kids which we love and we miss them and that's why we're doing this. Three, two. Push up to releve and come down. With a little lights, camera action and some Hollywood magic, the Ardell Stone School of Dance Studio is live from Roanoke County, keeping students at home. Each of the teachers, we have a mic on that will attach to our dance top, so we have clear audio. Teachers adjust the lessons so students can follow along. Hungate's mom started the school 54 years ago and the COVID-19 shutdown isn't going to stop it. If we can provide a little piece of normal and all this craziness that we're all living through right now, that's what we want to do. Her husband is a professional photographer, and let's just call this an impressive honey-do list. It's live on YouTube. Students like Claire Webb, who normally dances three times a week, don't miss a beat. And being able to do this has definitely been able to help keep me connected with the people I see every week anyways, and also just be able to like keep my routine somewhat normal. And for families going Corona stir crazy, it's major relief. Pets are even joining in and the Hellitz girls make it a family affair. It's wonderful. It's actually probably the one activity left that we're able to continue with. Of course, keeping class going keeps the business afloat when others are closing, but Hungate says it's not about the money. The biggest reward is getting the pictures back that the parents send of their kids and saying they miss it, but they're working hard and they can't wait to get back. In Roanoke County. So thanks for joining us today, girls. We'll see you soon. Bye. Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. And those virtual classes also help keep the students on track as they work toward their big recital, although that has to be rescheduled because of the stay-at-home order.